The movie I chose was The Sandlot. The genre was family, sports, and comedy. The release date was April 7th, 1993. The film company was Island World. The producers were Dale De La Torre and William S. Gilmore. The director was David Mickey Evans. The screenplay writers were David Mickey Evans and Robert Gunter. The cinematographer was Anthony B. Richmond. The primary actors were Tom Greary and Mike Vitar. The cost to produce the film was $7 million, and the money generated since the release date was $34.3 million. The main characters were Scotty Smalls and Benny Rodriguez. The setting, it was set in the 1960, 1960s, and it takes place mainly at the Sandlot, locating in the, located at the boys' uh, neighborhood during the summer. The plot summary, Scotty Smalls moves to a new neighborhood and makes new friends with a group of kids who play baseball at the Sandlot. They spend the summer going on new adventures and getting in lots of mischief. The theme of the movie is really about growing up, facing fears, and trying new things, not so much about winning or losing, but being a kid while you can. There were lots of symbols in the movie, and I chose three. The Sandlot symbolizes a carefree, happy place for kids. This is where they can go and throw a baseball around without any worry. The dog, also known as the Beast, symbolizes their biggest challenge. They're all terrified of him, but they have to figure out a way to come together and get their baseball back after they hit it in his territory. Baseball symbolizes Small's growing connection with his stepdad. He asks his stepdad to teach him how to play, to grow a closer bond with him and the other boys. The dialogue is comparable with the characters in the time period. They use many baseball terms and talk about events that happened during the time period of the movie. Costumes and makeup. The characters dress in the style of clothing that would have been worn during the 60s. Uh, camera shots, there are uses of wide POV and close-up shots in the movie. An example of a wide shot would be when Smalls first arrives at the sandlot. This shows the entire setting of that particular scene. An example of a POV shot in the film would be when he tries to get the baseball back from the beast. It shows his point of view of the dog. When they are playing the game, there are uses of close-up shots. This really shows their expressions while playing. Sound effects and music. The sound effects give snippets of the beast or other noises around them or the place they are in. When they encounter the beast, a song plays to make it more intense and enhance that scene. One of the songs that plays in the movie is Smokey by Bill Black's Combo. This sets the mood and tells the time period of the movie. As far as lighting goes, throughout the movie, the lighting is natural considering it is mostly shot outside. Some added information. The movie was inspired by a childhood experience director David Mickey Evans' brother had. The movie was just shot in 42 days. And the dog in the movie was partly a puppet. Some scenes in the movie was called for a real dog, but most of the time it was a puppet operated by two people.